hi guys um welcome back to my channel once again and today i will be looking at um metal trader 5 and metal trader 4 i'm not looking at any bitcoin chart though um i think next week i'll be um, doing a chart on btc and eth but on this um, video i want to focus on um, how to place an order using your uh, buy stop and sell stop and, and this forex market using this metatrader 5 and metatrader 4 so um i usually make use of um buy stop and sell stop whenever i'm trading this um forex market because you need to actually wait for that um, candlestick to close above any level of support or resistance before you can um, actually be in that market so um for the record i have been using a um, meta trader for but um still the same settings so um just for this video i downloaded this meta trader 5 and you can see it right on my phone screen at the top left corner so um when you download it you will be given a free hundred um us dollars a demo account you click at the settings um the down right corner of your app you see metatrader 5 ios um, demo so they're giving you this just to try how you can um, take any trade before you can put in a real money you need to test all this um all this buy stop um know how this uh, um, application works how to set others how to set your stop loss how to set your take profit and the rest so the first thing we're looking at is um let me just go straight to the point whenever i post any signal telling you buy stop order or sell stop order which i'll be explaining only in this video this is what i mean this is i'll be making use of eur usd when you click on it you see trade click on the trade now when you click on the trade the first thing you see what is what eur usd the second one is buy limit click on it you will see instant execution buy limit sell limit buy stop and sell stop those are the two i love using buy stop and sell stop now let's take a look at buy stop now in this market we'll go back to the charts in this market we have these levels now let's assume we want to take this trade and we're saying okay let's assume we're saying price um let me delete this so we're saying price will go back up we test this level around um 1.10876 and we're saying that automatically that is um a long position so how do we make use of our buy stop order this is how we make use of it you have to figure out three different levels the first thing is okay i think four different levels the first thing is the price at which you want to enter the market for a long position your stop loss and your take profit okay i think those are the three levels you're going to look at now let's find out our buy stop order level we're going to take let's now we're saying this is where price will get to and we want to enter this market if it reverses i would say let's as we want to enter the market around here we're using this around um 1.10598 and we want to close get out of the market when it touches this level around 
1.10875. So our buy stop level will be around here, which is 1.10598. Take note of this. When you're saying you want to buy, you are going long. So buy stop order means you place an order above the market, the current market price. This is the current market price here, which is you're seeing around the 1.10460. Now, we're saying this would likely reverse. I'm just using this as an example. So we're saying this will likely reverse to the upside. And we don't want to enter this market because if it continues going down, we'll be at loss if we take this trade at this current market price. So what we'll do is what? We'll place a buy stop order. Why we're placing a buy stop order is in case if the market reverses back to the upside and we get this jump to the upside, the market will automatically pick our order and close it at this level now we we'll place order around 1.10598 we have our stop loss around here we're just using this as an example so we have our buy stop around here our take profit around here and our stop loss around here so what is our buy stop Price we have 1.10595. So we take this 1.10595. Then our stop loss is what? Take note of this. Let's copy this. Select and copy. Take note of that. Then we have this as what 1.10432, which is our stop loss, which is our stop loss. 1.10432, 1.10432, which is our stop loss. So 1.10432, and this is our entry price. So now we are, we are saying our take profit would be around 1.10857. Now, when you have these three levels, you just click on what place. You see, it, the market has placed your order. It has not taken the order and you are in the market. No, you are not currently in the market. You have just placed your order saying in case if if the price reverses back to the upside you it will automatically pick your order and what close your order when it gets to this level that is what we call a buy stop order now let's cancel this order you can close it here now we go back to we've talked about this buy stop which i use now the other one is sell stop whenever you have whenever i say sell stop or you hear anything sell it means you are shorting the currency now we'll go back to the chart we're still going to use three different levels now what you're seeing here if you look at the price now look at the price is going down now we're saying this price is going down okay how will i We've calculated this. We we'll say this is a double top. So we're saying, okay, price will likely get down to this level. And we don't want to enter at this current price. So what we'll do is what? We'll place our order down here. Or let's say this is where we're expecting price to get to here. So we'll place our order, our sell stop, where the market will pick us and we'll be in that trade. So we'll set our order here. Our take profit around here and our stop loss should be around here so this would be our price which is 1.10307 1.10307 sell stop 
1.10307 so we have this select all and copy now we'll go back what is our take profit take profit around 1.10109 so we have 1.10109 as our take profit 1.10109 and we want to enter the market when price dumps further and zoom down to this level so the market will pick our order at 1.10307 and you can place your stop loss let's say stop loss can be around 1.10500 then you click on place now you see it it has not picked our order what it has just done is what it has placed your order so when price dumps below this level it will pick your order and your stop loss will be placed at the same time then once it picks your order around here this would be your take profit so if price dumps below this level and touches this level it will close your trade and you'll be in profit so this is just a simple way or how to on how to um, place a buy stop and a sell stop if you have any question just leave it in the comment below or chat me up on telegram and also if you want to join my telegram group you can also chat me up on telegram i will provide the link to you happy trading guys and enjoy the rest of your